Every Monday, I bring you the top sports performances from the past week, but since it is the beginning of a new year, here are the top headlines to look for in 2018. Let's begin with high school basketball. Bozeman, Butte Central, Dillon, Whitehall, Anaconda, Twin Bridges, and Manhattan Christian all having a legitimate shot to win respective state titles. The Montana Western men and women both made the NAIA tournament last spring, and after solid starts, they again are poised to make a run for a title. The Montana Tech volleyball team has had impressive showings in the national tournament two years in a row and return a loaded squad next fall. The Ordigger football team was dethroned in 2017 as two-time champions of the frontier. Will they be able to change their fortunes in 2018? <laughs> Montana State's volleyball team is coming off of its most successful season in some time and eyes a trip to the conference tournament under Daniel Jones, who is now officially the head of the program. No Peyton Ferris, no Riley Nordgaard, no problem for the MSU women. The Lady Bobcats are eyeing their third consecutive conference title and back-to-back -back trips to the NCAA tournament. The men also have a legitimate shot to make the big dance and remember to appreciate Tyler Hall. The junior is generating a lot of buzz and may be headed for the NBA draft, potentially the first cat to ever be drafted under the new system. The Montana men may be the team to beat, though, in the big sky after an eye-opening start to the season. We're going to all treat each other with dignity and respect around here. It's a core value of this university. In football, Bobby Houck returns to coaching the Grizzlies after an incredibly successful run in his previous stint. But a now-experienced Montana State football team in Jeff Choate's third year will likely be in the hunt for a Big Sky title as well. So stay tuned.